So how do you recreate uh, iFlow if you by a mistake got to delete it? So yesterday one of our colleagues uh, by mistake deleted one of the iFlows that we were using to run some tests on. And obviously that's something that happened. I posted something about it and there was a lot of comments that other people had done it. Um, so I just wanted to share how to do this. So let's say we have our important package here. We select it and we select, yes, we want to delete it and we may have thought it was the different one. Oh no, it is deleted. So the SAP standard note for this is to go into the message monitoring here. Find the iFlow that you deleted, not under, uh, then you can download it. Uh, and then you can deploy this jar and use that as a way to get started. So this only works if you have deployed the iFlow correctly and everything works uh, uh, once you have deleted it. So with the FIGAF tool, you also have some options uh, and we are going to improve this uh, <laughs> over the next uh, period of time. So the first thing is that in the FIGAF tool, we we continuously monitor everything that, that is going on in your system. So if we have our CPI system here, we can synchronize and with that we will download all the packages and everything in our flow that is going on. And now I would assume we will see that one package has been deleted. Um, and that is, well, what we <laughs> want to see in, in this. So obviously you can delete and see what's going on. Uh, now we want to recreate it and then we are a bit out of luck because yeah we have the, the deleted part here uh, the way you can recreate it with the figav tool is we have a git repository and in this git repository we have our package and we have the iflow here so for now the the best approach for for handling this is to to take your uh, create a new um, actually I can use this one the you will need to create a package with the same name so I think we can create it here and I think it's using the technical name that needs to be in place and we got the short description text here also not that that is as important but obviously need to be there so let's just call it version 1.2 and say save. Um, so now we have created it and one of the things we have is we have options here to uh, to deploy the specific iFlow that you have and right now it will give us a warning saying this iFlow does not exist in the package so that means we need to create this uh, this iFlow. We got the meta information here um, in the property manifest. So here we got the the name. So we need to create the, the new iFlow. And I think it's just selecting the same thing here. So that's good. So we say create. And now we have created it. We can then use this uh, upload here. And with this, we will then deploy this uh, this upload and we oh we want to deploy obviously uh, so the, the upload will take this iflow that we have created and uh, upload it to the system and as we see this takes a few seconds to run and that means that once we go back to our most critical interface here we now have it fully restored uh, let's see if configuration is also there. So configuration properties is also kept, which means you don't need to recreate them uh, again. As, as So that really simplifies the process. So now we have created our important package again. Um, so we got this issue yesterday. We could see that there was a, a lot of people that have experienced it. So one of the things that we're going to add is that from the FIGAF tool, you can see the uh, the, the packages that you have and we will create somehow a undelete button that you can 
click this on delete and then it will create the iFlow and the iFlow configuration and the package uh, back in, in order so everything is uh, successful. Hope you will like this uh, video about how you can delete uh, CPI iFlow. So uh, thanks.